First and foremost, I want to give all the praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do rule well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the hopeful elect that scattered across the four corners of the earth where Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh has placed you at. Shalom to Yaki Mount Davis in your life and your freedom, the precious gospel and its good news via highways and byways or via the internet. Shalom to you, Shalom to the Israelites that made it like the members of the other nations, but your bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And if your spirit can receive it, you're an Israelite. So Shalom to you, Shalom to you, sincere Agua, you women out there and your few children, right? This is the brother Micah from the tribe of Judah 144, coming to you again with another quick lesson. Operat the Zot, which means Lord willing. By the end of this lesson, you receive some type of edification from it. All right? As you can see the title, you know, you can see the title, you can you can see the times that we're in. All right? And we're moving to a time that's going to be like no other. Okay? So very, 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 very bad, bad time that we're approaching. All right? And the title speaks for itself. It says, Supreme Court ends Biden eviction moratorium. All right? The one that was supposed to be extended, I think, until, uh, what was it, October? And um, when I was looking at that, the early one, I was like, that's even disastrous because unemployment is supposed to expire in September. And then the next month, the um, eviction thing expires. So it's like everything just went hand in hand. You know, but nah, they said, uh-uh, forget that. It's done and it's over, all right? And this is this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad for a lot of people out there, especially you Israelites, you know, you so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Hispanics, man. Right? Okay? It's going to be bad, all right? Because preferably, I'm just going to be honest, a lot of our people... You know, all the ones that rely on the, you know, whatever type of housing program or whatever it may be, you know. And um, during this whole, you know, pandemic, you know, you had a lot of different individuals that was affected by it, okay? And to make matters worse, you know, the level of comfortability that some people had, they lost it within second hours and minutes, you know? Or just receiving that the Supreme Court said, oh, well, Biden said this, well, we're doing this. All right? So playtime is over. All right? The, the ruling followed political and legal maneuvering by the administration to retain prescription for tenants. It's put hundreds of thousands at risk of being put out of their home. And let me just say this. It's not going to be hundreds of thousands. You're talking about millions. Because you have individuals that have not paid their rent. Since this whole thing has started. So you got to think about that. So now landlords are just giving, they're giving the green light to kick them out. They ain't pay their rent, kick them out. They got to go. All right. And, and you know, it's going to affect really a lot of you, the women. All right. Because it is more women than it is men. And a lot of women rely on, you know, the governmental assistance and all that. You know, E. Is turning his back, as I may say this, he is turning his back. He, he's done with you, you know, you women. Okay? He's showing them horns. You know, this is one this is going to get real, very bad, man. Look, you know, some people wanted to extend it to 2022, so next year. You know, some people just wanted it to be put away with. I even seen um it was a, a, a sign that said cancel rent. You know? I'm just going to read a little bit of this and I'm going to get, you know, two precepts. The Supreme Court on Thursday rejected the Biden administration's latest mandatorium on evictions, ending a political and legal dispute during a public health crisis in which the administration shifted positions have subject it to cri for uh, slocking from and alleys alike. The court issued an eight-page majority option and usually moved in a running or an application for emergency relief. Where terrorist order are more common, the court three liberal judicians, the decision puts hundreds of thousands of tenants at risk of losing shelter. All right, and from personal experience, being 
being homeless is not a pretty thing because your mind wanders a lot. And you have a lot of people that's at ease and got that mentality, oh, that can't happen to me. Oh, I ain't dying. I can't. Yeah, it can happen to anyone. All right? It can happen to anyone. Okay? Because our people are so quick to put their trust in Egypt, <laughs> but it, look how it's failing you. All right? This place is done. Day by day, minute by minute, second by second. All right? The beautifulness of it, of this whole thing, is that a lot of us seeing this coming. All right? But but you know what? Yahweh Bashim Al-Washah is going to protect the elect. Through all these situations that's going on, the elect is going to be good. You know? Two-thirds of our people, man, they're going to bug out and lose their mind. These prideful women that's at ease, you know, they're going to lose their mind because you have, think about it like this, you have females that have multiple kids. Now, not only you got to find shelter for yourself, you got to find shelter for your kids. What are you going to do? Go to the, what, the baby fathers that you put on child support? Forget about it, all right? Bad times, when it says it's going to be a time like no other, we're in the, the, the beginning grips of that cycle, all right? The eviction crisis can lead to, to crime skyrocketing because when people have nothing to lose, they lose it, all right? And the decision puts hundreds of thousands of tenants at risk of losing shelter while the administration struggles to speed the flow of billions of dollars in federal funding to people who are behind in rent because of the corona, you know, virus pandemic. They may say it is associated economy hardship. Only about five point one billion of the forty the forty six point five billion in aid has been distributed by the end of July. Okay, you know, five point one billion was distributed out of forty six point five billion, and I could have sworn the deal was for like to a two trillion. You're talking about a, a hundreds of, of a billion. Okay, that's a lot of money that's not being used. All right, but you know what? Because the times we living in, it's going to get bad. And it's only going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. You're going to have the eviction crisis. And you're going to have the, the, the famine. You know, both famines of the word and um, of food, bread and water. Okay? Work shortage. All right? All right, this is Isaiah chapter 31 and verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt. Woe means destruction. Okay? That goes down to Egypt. Egypt means slavery for help. And stay on horses and trust in chariots. Because they are many and horsemen because they are strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither do they seek the Lord. All right? Now, you're going to want to seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah that you're going to be thrown in your ass. But when you were living good and had that mentality, I don't need nobody, I'm on my own, you wasn't worried about the Lord then. But now you're about to get on your ass and little Ray Ray and little Malik and, and, and you know, and, and all the rest of your, you know, kids, you know, that. You may have now reality is starting to hit you know and 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 you're seeing that so locking for the noise in the background you're seeing that this this double really doesn't give two shits about us never did all right that's why man cause you that's why right now is the better is the is the best time to come mentally come out of this this place man because this place is going to be destroyed this eviction thing it's going to be bad it's going to be right and, and protest man it's going to be insane all right it's all it's going to do is escalate 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 and look at this check this out man these these political leaders these powers that be they have enough money man if they want it to end hunger rent all these things, but they're not, you know, they're not, okay, 
systematically, they're just not going to do it. It's just not in their character and their heart, all right? This is Psalm chapter 20 and verse 7. This is one of my favorites. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we remember the name of Yahweh our power. And that actually, like, it goes with Isaiah 31, you know? Some you'll see here in Babylon, the strong military, you know, the, the might, the, the money, you know, the, the glamour, you know, all the things you can come over here and do. You know, you can come over here and make a career and this and that and this and that. And people trust that, you know, and they forget about Yahweh Bashim Hashem. They, they don't even consider because they have that self-entitlement, self-made type of thing. All right, but you know what? Yahweh, who the world inwardly calls God, Bahashem, which means in the name, Yahweh Shah, who the world inwardly calls, you know, Jesus Christ, you know, they're about to visit this place, you know, and they're about to make things flip upside down. And um, another thing, too, I believe this is what's going to pave the way for Isaiah, you know, 4 and 1, you know. Because I see how everything is, is, is just taking its toll, okay? It's a reason why the Heavenly Father says, rise up, you know, rise up, you women that are at ease. Give ear to my voice, you careless daughters, okay? Hearken, listen, okay? Because when E turns his back, who you going to run to then, okay? What, what, what? you going to run to the men that you treated like jack shit? Okay? You gotta you gotta really sit and think about this. You have elderly people that's gonna suffer from this, disabled people, you know. It don't even matter your race, you know, black, white, Puerto Rican, it doesn't matter. You know, a, a lot of people are going to suffer from this eviction thing. This eviction thing can turn very, very bloody and very bad. It could turn to people breaking in other people's houses, taking what they have because they don't have. All right? But you know, another a, a comforting thing is that Yahweh Bashem Shah is going to protect his people. He's going to protect the ones, you know, that, 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 that hearken into his works. Because you got to think about it. You think a balanced and merciful power would just have us in this truth. You know, pull us from the world. You know, show him, show us he loves us, just to destroy us and and, and and let us end up like majority of the world is gonna be. No, he's a balanced power, and this and actually the the eviction thing is. If you think about it, for some people, it's judgment, all right? Because the Lord, he has so many unique ways he can get to you, but this situation, this eviction crisis, is going to be the new crisis, and watch. How some some strategic way, you know, E going to throw it in there that the cases then skyrocket and all that and you know. Yeah. So everything he does, he does very strategically, you know. If it was so, he, he would be able to deceive the very elect, but he's not because Yahweh Bashim Al has opened up the hopeful elect eyes to what it is that's happening. Alright? I don't wish and this is this is diligently from from the from the heart. I don't wish evictions, death, or none of that on my people. But you have the ones that don't want to listen, you know. And then you got to think about it. When when the government was doing this and that and this, you know, what was people really doing with their, you know, though. But what you know, what you do is what you do. But at the end of the day, people had to know that it was going to come a time when they when 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 the foot was going to be put down. Because this eviction thing wasn't going to last forever. Wherever it expired last week or October, you know, it was going to expire. And I, I don't really think a lot of people would want to be thrown out in the cold, all right? Or really thrown out in the heat. But, I mean, it is what it is, you know. But, but through this, this is one of the many things that I think is going to just be the ticking time bomb that's going to transpire to something else, worse. All right. So just keep your eyes open and you know stay diligent. You know, call Allah Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, Bahashem Rakadash. Let me give double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do well. 
Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the whole four light that's scattered across the four corners of the earth. Where you how about your mouth, which place you at? Alright? Brothers, just know, you know, we're moving closer and closer. Alright? And I pray that the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh watch over and protect, you know, you brothers from you elders, from you, you from the elders on down to the to the younger brothers, to the ones that's just coming in the street. Alright? So with that being said, Shalom.